In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, it will show you the first option, the option, the one, and you can add some title and the detailed text here. And then here on the right side, you can add the step two or the option two and the title and the detailed text. When I click, it will show you the second and third, fourth and fifth, sixth and seventh. And depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease the option. I have created one more slide where I have added uh, 10 options here. You can see here one by one on a click, it will come. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle, draw a rounded corner rectangle in the center shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any light or dark blue color and make sure to align center align middle and make it no outline then go to insert shapes i'm going to choose a rectangle draw a rectangle so how many rectangles you need based on that you need to adjust the height and width I'm going to make this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill I'm going to fill this with white color now I'm going to add one more rectangle and this side only I'm going to add it towards the right side so shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any dark color here and then go to insert shapes I'm going to choose the rounded rectangle draw a rounded rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give this as a green color and put it here again make sure the height is same and then i'm just going to move a little bit outside and then send this to back all right now i'm going to select this one press ctrl d and i'm going to put it here then send this to back so i end up getting a shape something like this all right again if you want more you can just make it more outside so once this is done i'm going to select these shapes and press ctrl g to group it so now i can just add some text here or before that one if you want like to add the same thing towards the right side you can just hold the ctrl shift key and bring it here and then go to the shape format align sorry rotate you can see here i can rotate flip horizontal so i got i've added here so now i'm going to select all this or oh, before that one let me just add some text here so i can just go and add a title all right make it bold reduce the font size maybe to 14 and again whichever color which you feel better you can just add that color and then you can add some detailed text here so i'm just going to add equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets one and i don't need this much long text i'm going to delete this one this one reduce the font size to maybe 10 and i'm going to put it here like this and align it properly all right so once this is done, I'm going to group this one as well. And for this one, you can just add the option number one, center align, make it bold, increase the size and the font size color. I'm going to make it as white color. Now I'm going to copy the same font here. So I'm going to make this as two and this text, again, hold the control shift key. I'm just going to add it here. So you can see here, I have added this one and two now. Again, depending on your requirement for this, I need to give some different color. I can just go and choose any different color depending on my requirement. All right, so let me just select both these options, hold the control shift key and just drag this one. You can see here, again, hold the control shift key, drag this one. And if you want, you can add one more. So we are going to add 10 shapes okay so this is one two so this is i'm going to make it as three and this is four five six seven eight 
and then this is 9 and this is 10 so you can see here I've added 10 shapes here now as I said you can just change any color of your choice and then I'm going to add a kind of a spiral binding effect here for that let me just zoom in so that you know exactly what I'm trying to do so now go to insert text box I'm, sorry shapes I'm going to select the oval shape draw one oval shape here by holding the shift key okay like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give the same background color and hold the control shift key and add it at the bottom here all right and then this too i'm going to add it towards this side as well you can see here like this and then go to insert shapes and you can just choose any shape here for example let me just choose this one which is the flow chart terminator and I'm going to draw a flowchart terminator like this. All right. Let me just increase the width, shape outline, make it no outline, and right mouse click, go to the format shape. I'm going to give a gradient fill here. Gradient fill, I'm going to use one color, which is a kind of a dark gray color and the direction which i would like to choose is this one all right and here also i would like to use some different color and in the one more ad i'm going to do and this one i'm going to make it more whiter so you can see here i end up getting a shape like this and for this i'm going to give a shadow effect all right and then hold the control shift key bring it down now for these four shapes i'm going to group it you can see here then control hold the control shift key and then just bring it towards the right side all right so you can see here we end up getting a shape like this so now i can just select both of this hold the control shift key and one by one just drag it like this you can see here and this one also and that's it so you can see our shape is uh, ready design is ready now i can just add few more rectangles here at the bottom you can see here i can just add few more rectangles shape outline make it no outline shape fill i can make it some darker color here and then Control d to duplicate and i'm going to add one more as a base and then send this to back so you can see here this uh, design is ready now it's time to do the animation effect so before doing the animation we need to group this one so i'm going to select this one all you can see here till like this and group it again select till here and press ctrl g to group it you can see here like this you need to group it So one by one I'm just grouping it and then I'm going to group towards the right side yeah so the grouping is been done now to do we have to do the animation now so go to the animations enable the animation pane so before doing that i need to do the animations or the grouping for this also let me just do it again this one and this one select this one hold the uh, shift key and group it you can see here one by one so that we don't need to add extra animation effects so again let me just do it quickly one by one i'm going to select and group it it is better to do it from the beginning itself but anyway now let me just select this one first of all and you can add animation you can add any animation effect here so you can just go to the add animation more entrance effects you can see here we have got the expand we have got the stretch so i'm going to select the stretch click ok and the stretch i'm going to make it from right side so it comes like this so now i'm going to select this one add animation effect animation painter on this one and this one i'm going to make it from the 
left you can see here now if i play it comes like this so now it's very easy i'm going to select this one and click it here i'm going to select this one click on animation painter and apply it on this part so like that i'm going to just do quickly one by one you can see here so i'm going to select this now let me just select this now the last part all right so let's play we can see here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten